Today we're going to be tying a WD-40. We're going to start with our olive thread right up by the eye of the hook there. Tie it in. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some wood duck from a wood duck feather and we're going to cut out about 10 or so pieces of wood duck. We're going to use this for the tail. I'm just going to kind of roughly measure it out. You don't want your tail to be too long. You got to be real careful not to use too much. I'm going to go all the way down the bend there. Tie it in. And if you make it too long, you can actually take it and pull it make it a little shorter. Then what we're going to do is we're going to build up the taper on the body and take that thread forward. Thread actually got a little frayed there. And then I'm just going to build it up just a little bit more. Looking for that nice even taper. Just like so. I'm going to pull that wood duck back just a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build up the thorax. We're going to use some super fine dubbing for that. I'm going to use olive, at least if you're tying an olive one like we are. Now what we're going to try to do is make a little bit of a round head on this fly. Just a, maybe a hair more. Trying to keep it round. Now what you're going to do is take your thread up to the eye and you're going to pull the wood duck over the top of the thorax there. Capture it. trim it out of there. Lastly you can whip finish. And that's all there is to the WD-40. a better look here. Very simple and effective fly to tie. You can tie multiple colors. Browns, blacks, tans. All of his hands down my favorite. It seems to work the best for me. And that's the WD-40.